<laughs> Stupid idiot. Uh, while there's a timeout, let's talk about uh, some of the other games other than uh, Oregon State, Oklahoma State. Uh, let's start with the, let's start with the, the the game the first game today. Yes. I, I I don't know what the game of the day was necessarily. I, Oral, Oral I Roberts might be the story of the day, um, but you know let, let's go in order because the first game of the day would set the tone for what the day was. Loyola upsets and I put upsets in quotes mm-hmm. uh, Illinois because this did not look like an upset at all. Mm-hmm. This looked like a, a, just the better team won from mm-hmm. start to finish. I texted you. Uh, we did not watch this game together. We, we, we stayed home for the first game and then drove into the studio after. Um, I texted you when it was, what, 9-2, to 9-4? Yeah, I said, probably about five, six minutes into the game. I said, this one's over yes. because Krutwig was, was running circles around mm-hmm. uh, Coburn. Like right out of the gate, you could just tell like that Coburn was just gonna. Coburn ended up playing well and put put up uh, decent numbers, but offensively, Crowe, he yeah, played, yeah, played well. Played well. Defensively, I mean, he yes. was just he's yeah. shuffling his feet right now at this very second. Uh, you know, Krutwig turned into Nikola Jokic. Uh, you know, for the Denver Nuggets in this game, basically was a one man offense, a one man defense, and like you said, they suffocated Illinois throughout this entire game. And from start to finish, they were the better team. And shout out to Kim Palm. I mean, the, the number one defense. Yeah, Kim we Palm. mocked we mocked this all year. This is a this is add this to the list. We need a list of like yes things we got wrong. Yes. I, I will I will say this: the haters have been coming on. Mm. Uh, it, it alternates days. The haters had a big day, day one, obviously. Yes. And, and we're day. still day one. We're, we're, day we're on that, that side of the bracket. The the yeah. south and the Midwest. That's what I was gonna say. Where day, we're from. Day two, we started to make a comeback. We started <laughs> yes. carving to the lead a little yes. bit. Yes. Yes. Pac-12 update. And then day three was the Diebler shot, where mm. it was like. Let's really make this comeback, mm-hmm. and we break mm-hmm. it, man. Mm-hmm. We really break it today. Yes. yes, day three was a big time. And break. Lady Jean was sitting up waving at us, yeah, saying "Toodaloo," as uh, <laughs> as we were saying goodbye. Adam Miller uh, for Illinois after the game said, "Lady Jean got us." Uh, was it Adam Miller? I thought it was Trent. Fr- it was Adam. Miller. It, was it was Adam, Adam Miller. Miller. Yes, yeah. he said, Adam "Lady Miller Jean said. got us," not sister, not sister <laughs> meme, as I pointed us. out here, and, and and just the fact that. You know, I feel like the last time around, Sister Jean was actually getting more pub than now, which is good. I do think we've all been on the right say, side of history. You probably you swore, you looked me in the eye before you came on the air, and you swore to me, you swore yes, to me, yes. I'm not going to talk about Sister Jean. I wanted to, I, <laughs> if, if we weren't live, I wanted, to, I wanted to, to bleep it out in post. I did not want to say her name. Um, but Cameron Crutwig is the story. Yeah. Uh, Porter Moser is the story. The fact that Illinois and Brad Underwood did not try to deviate from the plan at all. It almost makes you wonder, Illinois already won a title in mm. Indianapolis in the Big Ten tournament at Lucas Oil Stadium. They've already been there. They've already been to the mountaintop. They had no time to celebrate. They had no time off. And then they stay in the bubble and continue. This is a great and, point. And maybe at some point they're like, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready this to is a go great celebrate. point. I brought this up in jest, uh, but also it was one of those deals. I'm really good at these uh, takes where, like, and look, know, I'm obviously upset. Illinois James, is my national championship team. So. Anderson had a fast where he missed the layup, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I, left, I brought yeah. this up. Uh, I'm really good at the takes where, like, if you want to take it seriously, then yes, mm-hmm. I'm definitely serious. Yes. But if you don't want to take it seriously, it was just a joke, dude. Yes, it's it called seriously. heightened realities. Yeah, catch yeah. up. So uh, I offered, I offered this take. Uh, mm-hmm. What if the Big Ten has been so bad in this tournament because? Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been in Indy longer. And I'm not saying they're throwing the games. I'm not saying they're like, I want out of here. Let's lose say, on say what you said to me earlier. What is this? This is a war of what? Oh, it's a war of attrition. Yes. And, and the, similar to the Mickey Mouse bubble that we saw yeah, down and, in Orlando. They've, been, they've been there for a week. They're eating this, yeah. this, this buffet food, like the, this, buffet, this, or the, the banquet, the banquet yes, food yes. that like the hotel that you're staying in, they're like <laughs> making it in some, Cavernous. Chick-fil-A, as Jason Preston oh, yeah, told Jason us. Press. I guess maybe they are. We got the scoop. In. But, like, remember when they first got there, they were taking pictures, and then Rostin, like, tried to just tell everybody, like, don't complain about anything. <laughs> Rostin got the memo. To help. <laughs> <laughs> Delete your account. Rostin got the memo from the NCAA. That was like, John, if you could just go ahead and tell all the kids to shut up. And he was like, done. He's like, got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the hey, update. Kids. What kids? Eat your rubbery <laughs> chicken and shut the hell up. Uh <laughs> No, but what if what if what if the Big Ten teams have been in Indy for so long? It's too much. It's too much. But w- the Illinois point, as you said uh, earlier, they won the title, the, the Big Ten title. Usually, and I can say this from experience because those of you that are tuning in, you're new to the show, you might not know this. I won two Big Ten tournament titles, two, uh, two regular season mm. uh, Big Ten titles as well. So it gets a little confusing when I talk about my two Big Ten titles because uh, <laughs> you're talking regular season, but I'm talking tournament this time, um, and one. Oh, uh, so. When when we win, you when you usually win a Big Ten tournament title, Tate, mm-hmm. it, it it always happens on Selection Sunday. You find out your seed, you go back home to campus, uh, and then you kind of take like a day or two to like be a star, to be, be a, a star. celebrity, yeah. yeah, big man on campus, yeah. as they say, yes. yeah. 
And I, I wasn't necessarily a star, but I wore my gear and I'd walk around yeah. campus and hope someone noticed me. <laughs> yeah. and it never really happened, but like I felt like it. On yeah, the you inside. see your friends and they're like, was, Titus, why are you in full uniform? Yeah. You're like, I'm just letting people yeah. know I'm yeah. a champion. As I was putting my stuff on in the morning, I felt good about it. Um, and the point is, Illinois didn't get to enjoy <laughs> any of that. Any of None that. of it. So they win a they, title. They went back to their rooms models. by themselves they're to seeing, watch Netflix. Exactly. They win the title. They're pointing to the fans. Yeah. The fans are going crazy. They're on the internet and like everyone's going nuts and like we're we're Meanwhile, going all the way. And then they have to go back, as you said, to the hotel and they're like, This is stupid. I yeah. want to go back to Champagne and But Sean is Billy's sitting in his room and he's like, I wanna just like sing these Eastern European rap songs with like mm-hmm. a bunch of people around me having a great time. Instead, right. I'm sitting here by myself. And on the other hand, si- you know, Again, Sister I say it, I say it as a joke, but at the same time, there's, got, there's credence to some of it. There's credence. To, there's you like can a find, small you can sliver. find crumb of credence. There's a crumb of credence. Maybe that's what we call it a segment. A crumb, a, a, a crumb, crumb of credence. Of credence is the you name. can find your crumb. But uh, I like this tweet from uh, Sean Yu, by the way, our former colleague. Yeah, what up, Sean? Com. If Sister Jean wanted to, she could pray for world peace, but she uses her powers I did, for I did not want to bring instead. this up. I did not want to bring this <laughs> okay. up. I, you know, look. I like that. Look. That was a good, that was a good tweet. Man, man from the Bible Belt. You can't use prayer for basketball. Like, those are the rules. I mean, you can, you can obviously, you know, say, please, God, let this happen you know you can pray to the basketball yeah. guys but you can't do this and she, uh sister me sister like, meme at was, it again, at she, it was, again. <laughs> she was dropping analytics in her prayers <laughs> yeah she was like, like we, we have the number one Ken she Pom said, defense. we don't need we don't need help on defense like <laughs> you think she was praying to ken pom she was like <laughs> hashtag not my god lord, like, what lord is happening lord ken pom please bless us on this day <laughs> i don't understand with the number one d adjusted deficiency, uh, deficiency yeah. <laughs> regardless regardless loyal of the basketball team cameron yeah. crutwig single-handedly awesome. won this game and and it was, it was text awesome book it was a clinic the play to me of the game a lot should have been an out of bounds he just beautiful feathery touch back for the easy lay and for the assist how many beers does crutwig drink slash cigarettes good good question ben um crutwig is a throwback uh we've been trying to find someone like this in basketball for quite some time i I want him uh i want him to play in the nba i don't think it's gonna Mm. happen i think his his, i think he i think today he gets a workout i think his ceiling is good enough to get minutes in the league at some point uh, I think his ceiling is NBA caliber, like his skill set, how big he is. His floor is not, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like his floor is, is when he's at his worst. It's like, yeah, we can't, we can't throw this. But touch is a hell but, of a thing, right? Yeah. And, and, and the man has touch. The man has balance. The man has obvious basketball IQ. And the fact that he was making co- coffee, Coburn has been the best big in the country, in my opinion, in the past two months. He's, we maybe, felt maybe like more. we felt like he's been the best player on Illinois. That, that he Io gets like, all the headlines, but but he looked like the, the Coburn of, yeah. Coburn of old. You know what yeah. I mean? The one that looked like he was lost at times, and that was all Crutwig. So he it, Kofi didn't do his uh. Uh, soccer drills and juggling tennis balls. He juggled really, maybe yeah. too much. Too That's much. and Curbelo the same thing. Curbelo also a soccer guy. You know, dude, was able to keep it light from, and loose. Not this. Oh, this is getting away from Oklahoma State, dude. I just I looked mean, up and Cade. They lost the race to six. Just running we, and we throwing knew, up. We saw this. This is Muck City, dude. Yeah, this is a. We we should say this. I have learned a lot from the tournament in the sense that, like I said, throw the record books out, and now I look at the tournament by what we've seen so far, and what we've seen so far leads me to believe teams like UCLA, teams like Maryland, yeah, teams like Loyola, teams that can defensively muck it up, yep. be physical, and that's not that's not just. I mean. Because people take us way too seriously, and at this point mm. in time, like if you're still taking us seriously, that's kind of on you. But yeah. people are going to take us seriously, so mm. I'll have a disclaimer that like Maryland does tradition. Maryland are traditional muckers. They're mm. like they, they, they are, are. They are the OG muckers. They are the OG yes. muckers yes. of of this tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, Loyola play. They do play beautiful offense. Yes, they do. But so when you say muck it up, I think Loyola fans are like, now hang on a second. Are you saying like we we're not good? I'm talking. We're defensively. saying you're good. I'm talking about defensively. You're saying like a defensive minded. M- slow it, it down. Muck it up. Yeah. Change the pace. Yeah. Set the tone. Make it look. Make Illinois uncomfortable. And Illinois was so uncomfortable that they were trying to basically say, "I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just laughing right now. This is funny to me." Illinois was and, so bad offensively that you got Doug Gottlieb to show your possessions. He filmed your possessions yes. on TV and, and then, tried to break it down about coach, what's going wrong. About what's going wrong. That's how bad it was. It was. A you ba- got Coach Gottlieb. <laughs> it was a bad day for Brad Underwood. I will say, and I, I know that you know Porter Moser and and obviously Loyola deserves a lot of credit. The pick and roll defense that they had against. It's coffee and Corbello. I mean, yeah. it, 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 honestly, I feel like NBA teams will look at that and say, like, this is really cool. My like, fear with really Corbello kind of came true, and I, I, I want to choose my words carefully because I'm not killing the kid. I'm not saying – He's a freshman. He'll I'm not back. saying, yeah. like, this is a character flaw or whatever, but there, he he does have, like, a sense of, like, a little bit of a front runner. That, 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 I, I, I take that word back. I apologize. Uh, 
He has a sense. I'll say this. Curbelo knows how to be good when he's good. He doesn't know how to be good yet when he's not good. Yeah, that yeah, makes yeah. Any today, sense. today it was, today it was like, it was mistakes. not good. And he was like, damn it. This isn't how it's supposed to go. I want to, I want to stir, I want to stir yes. it up. I, how do, yes. Coach, when, when can we mm-hmm. stir it? Mm-hmm. When can we stir mm-hmm. it? And he's like, not today. Not to, we're Shout not out to Trent Frazier, my guy. Uh, you know, said his farewell. Obviously, you know, four years. Thank the you know, fighting a lot. And I, I thought that this was a team of destiny uh, after the Big yeah. Ten tournament. I thought this was an 05 re- repeat plus the title in hand. But Sister Meme had different ideas, and Cameron Crowick executed that idea. And this... uh, he sl- I, I called in the the mellow yellow king. If you've seen True Detective, he is the there's yellow the, king. There, yeah, there's the Trent Frazier. Yeah, shout out Trent Frazier. Yeah. Shout love, out. love, four love years the of my life. Fam. I love being a part of this program. That is tough, man. The, the man. seniors, it, and he handled it with grace and yeah. class. And then also Adam Miller, Adam Miller handled it with uh, you know hilarity and comedy, as you and I enjoy by saying, "Man, Lady Jean got it today." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you tell which guy's the freshman, and which guy's exactly, the senior. Exactly, exactly. It's called range, and I like it. <laughs> <It's>, so, <laughs> that's what makes you fall in love with this team. Hey there! Thanks for watching Titus and Tate for the full friend of the program experience. Subscribe right below and come join us for all things college basketball. The action is heating up. Come join Titus and Tate.